go to the pen tool in Affinity Photo or use a shape, perfectly reasonable, and convert to curves. So create some points or nodes. And I'm just going to create something very basic like that. You can see you've got all these nodes across here and they're all sharp points or sharp nodes. You can see them as a square. Now just go down here to node tool. With node tool, you can select these. Just drag that backwards and forwards, manipulate it in all kinds of ways. There's also a load of control features along here. You've got snapping features, which are fine, I'm not gonna do. Transform, likewise. But you've got also convert and actions. However, before doing anything else, what I wanna do is quickly show you this feature. So I'm just gonna go up here, and now you've got a sharp point. This is a sharp point, you can see it's a square. Click there and it becomes a circle and it's still selected, you can see, see it blue. And you've got these control handles and you can manipulate these control handles. You can also go over here and you can use smart. Now that makes the best curve it can make. However, I'm just gonna keep it with the smooth and sharp. But you can see these handles, you can drag them out, manipulate it, create all kinds of unusual kinks and designs in there. Maybe not the world's greatest, smoothest of curves. However, what you can also do you can hold down the control key. Not certain on the PC what that is, but control key, and then you can drag, and these control handles will stay in the same position. So you can just drag that down. You notice though they do not move, this node moves, and you can move backwards and forwards. Obviously, you create all kinds of designs there. Now, what you can look, and again, you can see now you've got that square again. Again, you can click there and make it a curve. Also, what you can do, you can manipulate this, but you can also hold down the alter option key and you can move these independently, this control handle. So you can see now, you move that around. This one doesn't move, but I can move it there. So I can move it again independently. That's by holding down the alter option key. So there's a lot of functionality. Shift key, hold down the shift key, and then what happens, it goes constrained. So you can see it's slightly jerky as it goes through there. However, let's just now click there again, smooth, you make it a nice smooth point. You've got this thing and well, what else can you do? Well, you can also select to and convert, so it's quite nice as well. However, let's just select one of these points. Just select one of these, just this one, and you can go here. You can click break curve. What it does, it breaks curve. So now you've got it separate. So this curve is separate from this one. It's been separated. You can, of course, then manipulate this. You can modify it in numerous ways. And also what you can do, you've got an option here of closed curves. So this curve is an open curve. Any of these are open curves. Anything that's not sort of joined all the way back to the start point or start node is that. Then just click here. And as soon as you do that, you get this slightly ungainly line that just goes back to the start point, which you may or may not like. And likewise, you can go to this one, let's go and select this one. So you can manipulate this, it's not the word. Now, another thing you can do with the node tool while you're hovering over there, you can see that what happens, curve slightly changes and you can add. So you can click and add a point, click. Now it's adding smooth there, which is quite nice. And you can manipulate that. And again, what you can do, go up here, you've got the option here, close curve. And again, it will just create a nice, obviously two straight ones there. So a corner points or sharp points. I use so many different illustrators slash Inkscape. They've all got different names for all these things. I end up putting the same names in other applications. However, once you've got these sharp points done, it's all closed. However, let's just go to the next thing. And the next thing is, you can see there's another option here, which you've got is smooth. Now, what happens with smooth, say you select all of this, and you've got those all selected. You can go over here to smooth and it just creates a nice smooth curve. However, it doesn't make it smooth like it doesn't turn them all in smooth. It's slightly a bit confusing in that respect, but it just gives you the facility to manipulate this curve a little bit more. Personally, I just generally don't use it. I use this. I prefer the, the control from this, which is much easier. So you can select those, then use this to convert them as well. And again, that does, sometimes doesn't. Sometimes I notice it just ignores I've suddenly, I've, I've noticed I've still got sharp points occasionally, it seems to just ignore it. So click it a couple of times, you will get nice smooth curve there. And again, if you're not selected there, again, just go down there and you can see you've got this smooth curve again. Now you've also noticed there's another option here. 
So let's just, with those there, no tool. And you'll notice now I've selected everything. So everything has been said, All both these curves are selected. Now we've got an option here, another one that comes available, which is join curves. Yes, sometimes you get applications that have slightly odd ways of joining curves. I'm not gonna mention any names, but that one at least joins the curve in a way that I think is really the way it should join a curve, which is basically a straight line. So what you can then do, of course, is you can always use this again, smooth curves, and you can see you get this all these, but again, it's still got, leaves that. So again, you can always select that, and you can always go here again and smooth. You can keep doing this just as long as you've got these circles, if that's what you want, of course. If you don't want the circles, you just want, say, like this, and you want this nice sharp point, you can always have sharp points just by converting it very quickly using this. Now you can also see here reverse curves. Well, in most cases that doesn't really have that much of an effect when you do it like that. But it does mean that this point becomes the end button so on, goes backwards and forwards, so it switches them all around. So if I go there, reverse, and you can see then it puts it there. If I click reverse, it puts it there. So it does work, does do something. Whether you have any use for it or benefit, I'm certain people will put in the comments below. Please say, yes, I use it all the time. I must admit, I don't. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.